Little kitty. Phew. Oh, and you broke Auntie's favorite flower pot. Come on, we need to fix it before she comes. Oh, thanks. Let's see if this helps. Oh, you are already here, friends. Please don't tell Auntie about the flower pot, or she will scold us. Let's try to repair the damage and see if this glue could help to stick the atoms of this flower pot. Atoms? Yes, Kitty. Everywhere we look around is made of tiny, whiny objects called atoms. Hey, by the time this flower pot dries, why don't we learn more about this exciting subject and travel deep into the world of atoms? Zoom in! So, what is an atom? To keep it in simple words, atoms are the smallest unit of matter and building blocks of everything in the universe. Be it solid, liquid, or gas. Right from the grain of sand, to strand of hair, to your body, to the planets, stars and the moon, to the infinity and beyond. But where did it all begin? As the story goes, one fine day in ancient India, Maharishi Kannad, an Indian scientist, sage and philosopher, was walking with food in his hand. As he ate the food, after chewing for a while, it occurred to him that he could divide the food into further parts and thus the idea of a matter which cannot be divided further came into existence. He called that invisible matter Anu, a Sanskrit word for atoms. Even though Sage Kannad was believed to be the first one to come up with this idea, but the credit for making this concept popular and proposing the first atomic theory goes to a Greek philosopher, Democritus, who explained that everything around us is made up of tiny particles surrounded by empty space. He even said that they vary in size and shape depending on the substances they compose. He named these particles atomos, a Greek word for indivisible. And as time progressed, this theory went into many changes and challenges. And finally, we know atoms for what it is and what are they made of. And what's that? Let us see. When you think of an atom, you probably visualize something like this. On the outer side, you got negatively charged electrons. In the center, you have the nucleus made of neutrons that have no charge and protons which have a positive charge. This model is close enough and has been taught in your textbooks since ages. But unfortunately, modern science doesn't agree with it anymore and it terms it as inaccurate. Firstly, the nucleus in the middle is way more smaller than this. So small that you won't be able to see it. Same goes with the electrons. Another thing that is incorrect is that it's believed Electrons orbit around the nucleus just like planets orbit around stars. But it turns out that electrons, just like the surprise math test, is really unpredictable. With electrons, we can't really know where it is and where it will be going. The only thing we know is that it will be found somewhere in the electron cloud. So, now you know, even though 
This is the most famous representation of an atom. It is unfortunately misleading. The real picture for now is this. Isn't it cool, friends? Now, go and surprise your teachers. Trivia time! Did you know that the atoms are mostly empty space? Yes, an atom is about 99.99999% empty. If you remove the empty space from the atoms of all people on the planet, the entire human population could fit in the volume of a sugar cube. Also, the atoms are really small. I mean, really, 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 really whew, small. Whew. They are so small that you cannot see them even with the most powerful microscope. It's question time! Today's question is, what is the center of an atom? Do write your answer in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode and until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, hello, auntie. Hope you're doing good. Oh, never mind. Hey, kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.